Welcome to the Earth and Flax Studio. Today is a design discussion day. I'm going to walk you through our roofing and siding system. Here is our model. We've got our roofing system here. Well, these are our timber rafters. Uh, our first step is a red oak tongue and groove. This is going to be our ceiling treatment and it will just have the Viking purified linseed oil applied as the finish. Our next step, most uh, builders are going to be using some kind of plastic or petroleum based membrane here as a air barrier. We wanted to avoid that. So what we were able to do is create what I'm calling the earth and flax linoleum. And this is a uh, linseed oil paint impregnated in a recycled fiber or paper base. And we're using this as our sort of breathable air barrier. Next up, we have our uh, bays for the majority of our insulation. This co could be compressed or expanded depending on what insulation requirements you have in your area. Our next layer here is a conventional plywood. This is really to just give rigidity for your uh, two inch comfort board insulation to sit upon. We have some conventional tar paper here, which again, we're trying to avoid petrochemicals. Uh, this is one compromise before we lay out our two inches of Rockwell comfort board insulation. And that is gonna be continuous. It's going to have no break across our entire roofing surface. And as you can see, it also meets and is continuous for our siding system as well. We've got our air gap here. And as you can see, our decking is actually our painted pine tongue and groove. So our painted, linseed oil painted surface is facing down just in case any moisture ever got here, a little added uh, additional protection. And then on top of that, we were asked by our roofing team that they would like a nice sturdy base to attach the metal roof to. And we did let them use the modern sort of heat rated membrane that they use in their work. Whenever you're working with different teams or you're hiring different people, you do need to find a compromise with what they are comfortable using. So we did have a um, Amish crew do our uh, metal roof installation. And you do always wanna make sure that you have a nice air gap. You can vent um, and have a venting system uh, for the, the base of the roof and your soffit as well as at the top, um, where in our case, it will be venting along the existing masonry wall. If you have any questions about anything we discussed today about the design that we're working on for this project, feel free to reach out. We'd love to hear from you.